hey hey welcome or welcome back it is good to see you as always so this <clears throat> is not a reaction video it's just a little bit of commentary for me if you like that great if not I'm sorry <laughs> but so I just want to say first of all that I'm able to separate the shitty things that Amberlynn has done and that side of Amberlynn from the Amberlynn that wants to lose weight and has struggled to do so. I would like to see her be a healthier weight and do better for herself. I don't wish anything horrible on anybody regardless of how shitty of a person they can be or things they've done in the past. I also think anybody, like I mentioned before, anybody is redeemable. Now, that would take acknowledging that you've done shitty things, which I don't believe Amberlynn has done and I doubt she will do, but that's a separate issue. This issue is Amberlynn's weight loss. So it seems a lot of people share young, dumb, honey buns feelings on Amberlynn taking Ozempic which is that Amberlynn is cheating on weight loss by taking Ozempic. And honestly, um, I think that's bullshit. <laughs> Some people will never be happy with anything that Amberlynn does. I mean, people wanted her to start an eating disorder program. She started an outpatient eating disorder program, quit it, and she may be back in it, I'm not sure, because she hasn't mentioned it recently. But I believe her psychologist that she is seeing is the same one from that eating disorder program. So hopefully that psychologist is helping her with the mental aspect of the binge eating disorder. So Amberlynn, as I've said many, many times, she absolutely has to heal her relationship with food and her binge eating problems and her addiction to food before she can really work on losing weight in earnest. We've we've seen Amberlynn go through these cycles where she'll do really good for a couple of months because she's really restricting herself and then she'll start binging. So she really needs to work on healing that relationship with food and being able to eat the foods she likes in moderation and not binging. So, taking Ozempic doesn't work for everyone, and for some people it doesn't work until they start taking the higher doses from what I've read about it. And, you know, we have people that have been saying for years that Amberlynn can't do this on her own, she needs help. You know, hence the wanting her to do an eating disorder program and all these things. So now that she's trying to find tools to help her, she's cheating? I don't understand these goalposts constantly being moved for Amberlynn. She's, she's finding tools to help her. And I don't know if people that have these opinions are people that have never struggled with their weight or with a food addiction or an eating disorder or what. But it's not always easy to lose weight. You know, yes, it's calories in, calories out. We've all heard this. But not every engine is the same. Not everybody burns calories the same way. Sure, you can put the fork down. You can not eat that piece of cake or not eat something. But for some people, it isn't that easy. The people that struggle with their weight know what they should or need to do. More than likely, that answer is yes. You know, I fall into that category myself. I'm struggling with weight loss right now, as you can see by the videos on my channel for my own personal weight loss goals and journey. But you know, I'm going to keep trying to find what works for me and I'm going to keep pushing and I'm going to keep trying, but I'm not going to like overly restrict myself and you know, say that I can't have something just because I'm trying to lose weight because that's just a recipe for having too much of it later. It's about still doing the things you like, eating the things you like, maybe finding healthier alternatives or having it in, you know, smaller amounts, spreading it out over a few days. 
And that's all you can really expect of anyone, even Amber Lynn. You know, at the end of the day, it's Amber Lynn that's eating or not eating the food. Ozempic is not a magic pill. It's not going to burn the fat for you or manifest a little hand out of nowhere that slaps the fork away. If the Ozempic is limiting her appetite and keeping her binges to 1500 calories instead of 3000 calories while she's working through the mental aspect in therapy, then who cares how she's doing it? And how do you cheat at weight loss anyway? Does the Konami code work for it? Because if it does, I need to enter that shit into my life immediately. You know, I could use a little boost. <laughs> but, I mean, are people that get weight loss surgery cheating? Are people that take antidepressants or ADHD medication cheating because they're changing their behavior? I take levothyroxine to adjust my TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone. And that helps even out my metabolism because I have hypothyroidism, which screws your metabolism basically. It puts it down to nothing basically. So that makes my basal metabolic rate like nothing. And taking the medication helps adjust those levels so that my metabolism will work a little bit. Am I cheating? Are the other people taking Ozempic for weight loss cheating? Or is it just Amber Lynn because she's Amber Lynn? Sometimes you need help in life. And if the Ozempic is helping Amber Lynn reach her weight loss goals at the start here, more power to her. So that's all I wanted to say on this for now. So until next time, be safe and take care.